here at Mill Green. This is every shot of an 11 handicappers round. First hole at Mill Green is a 472 yard par five. It's SI 12, the fairway is littered with bunkers. Can we make it home in two? Oh, right, here we go. That's gone an absolute mile. Straight in the middle of the fairway. Love to see it. So in the last two videos, it was super cold and everything was frozen, making it very difficult to score. Today, we've got a different challenge because although it's not frozen, it is hella windy. We're talking gusts up to 26 miles an hour and the average is about 14, 15, 16 miles an hour. So this is not going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination, but we've hit an absolute bomb to start us off. Let's see how we do. Got about 200 in here. It'd be nice to think that we could get there in two. Um, obviously, downwind's going to help massively, so. All right, if it runs up, we're good. Oh, it's, all right, I think it's on. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys caught that, but I think it's on the green or maybe just trickled off the back. Okay, just walking up to the green. Looks like we are just on the fringe. A two putt here would be fantastic. Two putt birdie to start us off. Look, you can see where we actually pitched. Like we pushed a good like 40, 50 feet short of the pin, slightly right, uh, but it's just gone. Just gone and gone. I think I've hit that way too hard. Turn in. Oh, oh man, I might have not given myself a birdie either. Ah. Oh. A free putted. Well, I haven't even potentially done that. I haven't even got this one in yet. Not a great five, but it's a par nonetheless. We're even through one, but we should have capitalized there. Second hole here is a par three. It's 173 yards. It's SI4 and we've got a strong wind coming off the left. Just got to avoid that bunker on the right. Got a, cre a heavy crosswind here. Got 156 to the pin. I'm gonna take an eight iron. That could be really good. Coming right on it. Oh, plugged in the front edge. Not enough club. I think I've got to remember today that this really is target golf. Like it is wet out here. It rained a lot last night. There's been rain for the last like three weeks nonstop. So it is soft out here. But I got to say after playing that first green, they are rolling through and fast. So well done Mill Green on keeping your greens running so nicely at this time of year. Firstly, let's uh, remove this ball from the ground. Whoop. Quickly give that a push down and a, a fix. Go, 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 go. About five foot left. Just working out the speed of the green at the moment, so. Nice. Down in three, it's par, we're even through two. Hole three is a short but tricky par four at 308 yards. It's SI2, large body of water, short right. And the green is pretty small, making your second shot very demanding. Interesting one, it's a par four. It's a dog leg severely to the uh, left. I'm not gonna try and cut the corner because um, even if I take an eight on, I still have about 130 in. So just don't want to end up in that bunker really. Oh, that is so bad. All right, not an ideal spot to be in, that's for sure. So we have got 172 to the pin here. It's downwind. Uh, we've got water in front of the green. I'm going to take a six iron. So the side hill lies, so it's going to turn left. So I'm thinking aiming just slightly left of the pin. I want to be safe here. Just avoid all trouble at all costs. So. Oh, it's turning too much. Sit down. Sit down. I think we might be all right. I think it might have clipped the tree and landed on the path. So hopefully it's just sitting there. Otherwise we might be dead. All right, guys, we've got a situation. Red staked area, as you can see. Ball is actually just down here. Um, it's not as bad as if it was a little bit further up because that is all pretty watery. But do I take a drop here or do I go for it? Let me see if I can put my feet in the water or not. Thank God for Cobra's waterproof shoes. Okay, you can actually brace the water, I think. Get some sticks out without it 
to moving the ball. Just whether I can get to the back of the ball, really. I'm going to try and just like chop it. Okay. I am soaking, but that is a very, very good result. I wouldn't have done it if it weren't for you guys watching on YouTube, that's for bloody sure. There's a chance. No, my YouTube title. Oh, oh, it literally was just going. Oh man, my YouTube title has been ruined. Greatest par ever turns into a pretty decent bogey to be fair. Hole four is a 365 yard par four into wind and it is SI8. 404 yards into wind. Need a good drive here. Not bad, I haven't struck it all that well. Going though. Yeah, it's safe, it's safe. Uh, we've got like 150 in here. I'm actually gonna take a six iron, which is probably more like a 175 club, but we are straight into the wind and it's uphill, so. That's come out right as you like. Oh, just get a good lie. Oh my God, I think that might be even a bunker. Yeah, you just saw how it ballooned up, crazy. As you can see, guys, it is sitting beneath the surface of the earth, so I get free relief from that one. Looking for an up and down here. Just got to make sure that we turn through it to the, the target. Yeah, that's really good. Sit. Oh, still rolling. Sit. We love a tricky one, don't we? This one's coming a bit off the, quite a bit off the left, to be fair. So, going to put it out wide. Oh my God, that is a woeful putt. There we go. All right, we make a bogey. We're now two over. Great start. It's starting to come a bit unraveled right now. Hole five is a 492 yard par five. It's SI 16. It's actually downwind today. So this should be reachable in two. Let's see how we get on. So we were upwind and now we are downwind. Nice par five here. That is so hardly smacked. I hope it's all right. Oh yeah, I see it. I've absolutely levered that one. It's cleared the bushes that are down there on the right, so I think we're good. Yeah, look at that, we're next to the main road. What a little cheeky, unauthorized halfway house that is. All right, I'm gassed. That is a 300 yard drive on the channel. Severely downwind, wind assisted, I won't lie, but in winter, you can't say no to that. It's not very often that I go for a par five in two, especially when I've only got 150 in. Got wind behind. I'm going to take an eight because there's loads of space behind the pin, but not much in front of it. So I'd rather be putting than trying to chip on from the front. That looks pretty good. I could be right on it. Oh, it's a little bit long, a little bit long, but that is fine. That's what we were hoping for. Our second attempt at an eagle, but I'm there to make the birdie. The first hole is haunting my memory. I've not been putting particularly well so far this round. We've been kind of scrambling around. So let's see if we can make this one count. Got about 55 foot, I think. Okay, that is pretty good. Oh no, slow down now. Oi, 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 oi. We've got about four foot for the birdie. I love that line. I'm in love with that line. Now I've just got to stroke it real good. Yes, come on. Good birdie there. We're back to just the one over. We're flying. I mean, we're not, I don't think, we're striking the ball great. Putting and short game, not so good. Now I'm not going to lie, Mill Green for 20 quid is an absolute bargain. I'm playing at one o'clock, sunsets at 4.30. So we've got three and a half hours to get round. So we'll easily do it or we'll just be playing the last couple of holes in the dark. But what's really cool is you play the first couple of holes out in the open and then you go into a bunch of holes in the woods that are, oh, there's something else. This is really fun. Let's do this. Hole six, we're in the woods and we've got a par three here. It's 147 yards. It's the easiest on the course. Ignore the frost on the ground, guys, because these drone shots were taken last time I was at Mill Green. Now, I can't feel much wind, but I'm pretty sure that as soon as the ball goes up, it's going to get stalled out. So we are going to take eight iron on this 146 yarder, um, aiming for the center of the green here. 
it's a little more right than I would have liked. Just avoid the bunkers and we're good. All right, we're on the green. That's all we can ask for. And there's nothing better than saying it's on the green when it's actually on the fringe. Just seen it on the old drone. No drone cam up until this point because I've just not hit it close enough to the flag for it to catch it. Right, got to remember that I need to hit it further than 42. Because I've got to get it. Got to remember it's got a break as well. Oh my God, if this goes in. Oh, oh, we almost have back to back. Oh, now it's still going. Look at that. Okay, and that's a par. I've been practicing so much at the range over the last month and it is starting to pay dividends in terms of like ball striking. I, I don't think I've ever struck the ball this well in my life. So, and I'll be doing a video in the next couple of months that kind of explains how I've got to this stage. It's, it's something else. Hole seven is a 473 yard par five. It's SI6, tight, narrow, through the trees, water hazards, short left, short right of the green. Very, very tricky one. Let's see if we can conquer it. This is a par five. It's narrow because there's trees left and right, but I still think the player's driver here because the bunker there on the right is 200. So I can carry that. It actually opens up a little bit to the right. Wind's coming off the left a little bit. So I'm just gonna try and get it just straight up the middle really. That is not very good, but it's going to survive as long as it doesn't hit that tree. Get over. Yeah, it's over. Not a pretty swing, but we're alive and that's all that matters. I'm thinking just chipping a seven iron straight out into the fairway, uh, being able to clean the ball and that. It's not ideal. <laughs> Did not hit that well, but it's done the job. It is very much in the fairway. Right, here we go then. I'm going to take... Take a nine. I might be struck way too good. Yep, that is uh, off the green back right. Right, a little bump and run here. Just a little nine iron, bump it on. Get it running towards that hole. Oh, it's still going. Uh, interestingly, the greens between out into the sort of like fieldland versus in the woods is very, very, very different. Uh, different, very different feel and coloration. Oh, just caught the left edge. In it goes, par. We keep on moving. Hole number eight is our last through the woodlands. It's a par four, it's 348 yards and it's SI10 and it dog legs slightly to the right. Right, um, we've been hitting driver well, but I think this time it's probably three wood. Um, bunker is about 230 up, so it could catch the three wood if I hit it really well. But I think that most likely I'm aiming far out to the left and leaving myself like 160, 150 in just to, to be safe, so. Oh, I can't see it. It's gone straight in the sun. I've hit it so well though. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw it. Straight down, middle of the fairway, happy days. I got a bit of conundrum here, guys. Um, I absolutely smoked that. It went up into the sun, couldn't see where it's gone. Now I would go back and re-tee, but I've got people behind me and the whole course is like fully backed up. So I'm gonna have to just take a big penalty here, which really, really sucks because I can't find my ball. I looked where I thought it landed and I just can't seem to find it anywhere. So really, really unfortunate. So um, we're just gonna drop into the fairway and we're gonna be hitting, unfortunately, our fourth shot, which is devastating because we're on such a heater right now. But them's kind of the rules. So it feels a lot windier here, I won't lie, because we are kind of breaking through the trees back out into the field. So got a little bit of tree trouble, won't lie. So hopefully we're just not gonna hit that. That would be not very good, I won't lie. So, oh, I've fatted it. Oh, this is gonna be a really bad hole for us. Left the face open a little bit. I think we're about to make a triple. Got 33 footer here for a double. <laughs> oh dear. It's funny how they can, how you can be on a heater and then just out of nowhere. It didn't turn at all. <laughs> Great weight though. We'll take that. Okay. Triple. 
Happy days. Hole nine is a 164 yard par three and it's directly into the wind is SI14. Yeah, this is a bit of a crazy one. Par three uh, into wind, it's gonna take a six iron. The wind is absolutely picked up and murdering that. Just avoid the bunker. Oh, it's on the green. I think it's plugged though. Nice. Yeah, I like that line a lot. All right, 51 foot for a birdie. I think it was just an accomplishment to make the green, so happy days. I think I've hit that too hard. Maybe not, maybe I've hit it perfect. Wow. We go, and that is a par. Oh man, without that triple, we could be having such a good score going into the back nine, but we are currently four over. Hole 10 is a par five. It dog legs right over the trees. We've got 467 yards to the pin and it's SI7. Got to cut the trees just a little bit or otherwise we might end up in the bunker. That should be good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, that should be right in the fairway. Lovely. I've got three wood out. I just don't see all that much danger up there. So I'm more than happy to just give this one a run, I think. Oh, I've literally, I let the club turn in my hands. That has hit something and just kicked on. All right, well, we're going to have an approach in. That's going to go at least 150. It's funny because I've now ingrained where my hand should be at the top of the backswing and they were so far out there that I just couldn't compute how to get back to the ball with my hands. So that's why we kind of like scuttled it along the fairway but at least it's gone somewhere we have got about 100 in here i'm not in the fairway i have found a particularly soft spot as well that's got to go just go yeah no it was always a danger i just i'm just all out of sorts ever since that triple bogey i've been a little bit mm, here and there slow down it's not bad Good stroke here, boys. Let's do this. Well, that didn't turn at all, and I didn't give it enough. All right, we are five over, going into 11. Hole 11 is a short 328 yard par four, and it is SI 17. Should be all right there. Oh yeah, should be. I think we're in the rough, but I mean, we're not far away from the pin. It's quite a short hole. Okay, we've got about 60 yards here to the pin. Um, so fingers crossed we can get this one tight and make a birdie. Sit, sit. Oh, it did sit. That is, I think that's really close. It might be a little bit short, but it could be really close. It's just slightly off the right, I think. Yeah, definitely slightly off the right. Don't want to hit this one too hard because it's downhill a little bit. Oh, go on, second birdie of the day. Come on. That's what we're talking about. Hole 12 is a 310 yard par four. It is SI3. It is fraught with danger. We've got danger up the right. We've got danger up the left. Only the straightest of shots are going to survive. Can we do it? That should be all right. All right, I'm gonna hit a provisional just in case. That's fine. I can see that one all day long. Okay, sadly, ball number one was down there in the water. So we are gonna play a drop from here because it's better to take a drop from here than go back and play from the tee ball that we've got over there. So about a hundred yards in here into wind. Take them a gap wedge, see if we can stick it close. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? That is such a clean strike. I love that strike. Be good. Oh, it is good. All right, we've got a chance of getting up and down for a par. It's going to turn pretty hard off the left. It's going to trickle as well because it's downhill. I kind of, kind of got it in my mind's eye of how this is going to turn. I have to be very careful because it could run a hell of a long way past the hole if we get this wrong. Now turn. <laughs> Let's go. What a putt. What an up and down. We save a par. Oh, 
feels good. Hole 13 on paper is a drivable 275 yard par 4. It's SI15. It has got a few cheeky danger spots though without a bounce all up the right and danger on the left. Is it worth it? Let me know what you'd do guys. I don't think this is a driver hole. Um, I hit driver last time I was here and uh, ended up out of bounds on the right in some farmer's field. So we don't want to do that. Uh, straight down the middle is the play. Three wood is what I'm going with. Oh, that's tight line. Should be good. I think that could be almost perfect. Yeah, that's great. That's really good. I was a little bit worried it was floating with the field for just a second there. Now it's getting a bit dark, so we might have to give up on drone cam because it's slowing me down. Oh man, I thought it was perfectly, and by that I meant it's into this perfect place bunker. Oh no, we got an awful shot now. No, Tom! Oh my god, and now it's plugged. Should have just gone with what I know, just got it out. Crap. How on earth do I get that out of there? This is the problem of being 12, because you haven't actually experienced everything that the game has to offer at this point. Right. All right, we're out. Oh, we're putting a big number on the card again. That's it. All right, weight was almost perfect. Just the line was dreadful. You're saying there's a chance. Oh my God, so close. So flipping close. All right, it's a double. We've been a bit of an escape artist over the last couple of holes, so it was going to catch up to us eventually. We need to start hitting some better shots and stop making mistakes. Should have checked Marcos to see that bunker was right there in the line that I took. Come on, we're on to the final stretch. Hole 14 is a 137 yard par 3 and it is SI9. Oh, it's gone a lot right. I think it's going to be short as well. Yeah, I was umming and ahhing. It was a 9-9 all day long. I made that exact mistake last time I was here. Light is fading quickly, guys, so we're going to have to rush our way around the last couple of holes here. All right, sit down. All right, we've got a realistic chance of making par here. One, two, this is a six footer for par. Yeah, I actually love that line. Love that. I'm going to hit it straight on the line. And that's why, because it's right on line. Come on, pa, let's move on. Quick, quick, quick. We're onto the hardest hole on the course. It's hole number 15. It's a 337 yard par four. The main danger of this hole is the large pond that is in front of the green. You gotta get a good driveway so that you can have a nice approach in. Absolutely crushed that. I think it's a little bit left from the liking. Over the top of the bunker, did take a right kick. That could be very good. Now, if you want to keep up with me more regularly, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and also TikTok as well, because I'm posting shorts and stuff up there all the time. Feel free to ask me any questions down in the comment section or maybe tweet me or whatever, because right now this channel is very new. So you guys are my day one. So I'm going to remember your names for a long time to come. All right, even with a couple of awful holes, we are playing pretty well. Have got what I do not want to see here. Ball beneath the feet, downhill lie, over water to the pin. Oof, this is a scary one. This is sketchy, I won't lie. All right, it's about 100 yards in here. Um, got a lot of space behind the water, so I don't need to worry too much. Just need to focus on making good contact here. Oh no, he's done it. He feared it and he's drowned it. That is, that one's going to go down as not as ideal. We didn't even close to getting over the top of it. Right, we've got about 78 now. That could be good. Sit. Wow. No way. It's gone off the back. All right, it's about 60 foot here, maybe 65, something like that. It's downhill, sliding down to the left. I'm gonna bump and run this one with a pitching wedge. Just get it moving. I might have to sit. Oh, right, well, it's not awful. Huh. Oh my lord. Uh. All right, another triple, man. Where are they coming from? We could have been on for a PB, but I think that's probably just about scuppered it. Unless we make a birdie or something coming home. <sighs> it's not looking good. Hole 16 is a 381 yard par four. It's SI 13. 
Oh. Full left! All right, I think we might be on the wrong fairway. I'm not gonna lie, I think we might be on the wrong fairway, but we might be alive. All right, we got a bit of a blind shot here, um, straight over these trees to the pin. Um, good line in, I've heard. That's what I've been told anyway. Right. That is really good. That could be really good. All right, that could be really good. We'll have to go around and have a look. That is straight on line. I don't know what you're thinking. How could it be straight? How do you know it's straight on line when it's over trees? Well, I can kind of see the yellow just through the trees, but you guys won't be able to. It's the wind, it's short. Damn it, it was right on line as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15. Right, 45 foot for a birdie. And it's coming off the right hand side. That could be really good. Turn now. <gasps> oh, come on. That's the longest part we've made on the channel by a mile and the longest I've made for absolutely ages. No flipping way, three birdies in a round. Yes, come on. Oh man, I'm really regretting those triples now, but you know what? That's the joys of golf. Up, down, up, down, up, down, right. Maybe a big finish. Maybe we're on for our best ever. The penultimate hole here is a 408 yard par four and it is SI5. Not the one you want coming home when you need to get a good score. Let's see if we can do something. Having a bit of an adrenaline dump here. It's gonna be an issue trying to hit this driver. Um, right, we're trying to aim left of the tower. Oh dear. Oh, it's gonna be fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah, adrenaline all over the place. I actually, um, <laughs> I hit the tee box before the ball, so I have no idea how I've managed to keep it going. No idea how that ball's gone so far with that absolutely minging drive. We now have 150 to this flag, downwind. I am gonna take eight because it's right at the front, so rather be a bit long. Oh, that's pretty good strike. Middle of the green, long, really long. No, no, really good, really good. Now I'm actually a little bit excited here because if we manage to make a birdie and a par on the last two holes, we'll actually break 80, which will only be the second time I've ever done it. The only time I've done it before was at the Hertfordshire where I shot 78 and that's a par 70. So we're currently eight over. So we're currently on course to be exactly the same as that. And you know what's great is that I'm bringing all you guys along with me on this round, which is mm, it's just something else. I, I didn't expect to shoot like this on camera for a long, long, long time. So. This is testament to all the hard work I've been putting in at the driving range. Okay, it's gonna be quick, it is down the hill. Oh, there's actually a chance. Oh my God, go, go, no way. Oh my God, that is so close. Oh no, no, so close. Hey man, this is a ball, I love golf. The final hole here at Mill Hill sees us coming down towards the clubhouse. It's the 353 yard par four and it's SI 11. Lots of water, short right, it must be avoided. Hole 18, wind off the right. Last time I was here, I hit driver. I was about five yards short of trickling into the water. I'm taking three wood this time. Oh, that's so good. Might be turning a little bit too much left. I've seen it down. We're all right, over the top of the bunker. Should be either in the rough or just at the edge of the fairway. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Make sure you smash a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this home and across the line for a new PB. Now, the only thing that's messing with my head a little bit is did I play that shot right when I made the penalty? Lost the three wood, it disappeared. Dropped it where I thought it had gone. Played it as my fourth shot. But I guess at the end of the day, I ended up actually making like a triple there anyway. I blobbed the hole. So in terms of like the handicap scorecard, it doesn't really matter what I scored there because a blob is a blob at the end of the day. Well, I see my ball. It's a good job we turned it very far left because it is literally water high. It could have so easily dropped into the pond if I'd hit it straight. But it does mean we are a short wedge in to the final pin. Come on. 60 yards. I think I'm taking dead aim. Usually go a little bit right of it, but I'm taking dead aim because obviously I want to score my best ever. So just got to remember what a 60 yard shot feels like. It's not a full one, a bit like that. 
Oh, fat it. Well, the dream is dead. I mean, there's still a chance we could chip in. Weird things have happened. Little pitching wedge bumper run, I'm thinking here. I want to land that about there. All right, come on, Tom. That could be really good. There's a chance. Oh, no. And it's run on a long way as well. All right, we're eight over. I can time my personal best of being eight over. Or if I two putt, I can tie or beat my best on camera because we shot 10 over the other day. There's a chance. Ah, broke off right at the end. All right, it's a bogey to finish. We finish the round nine over. So that is an 81 on the scorecard. So it's our best round on camera so far. The score differential is on the screen for you guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed this round. It should bring my handicap down into maybe single figures. Maybe single figures. It'll be on the screen if it has, which if it has, that's pretty insane. Like that's a goal that we've had for pretty much two years now. So hard work is paying off at the driving range. Really good to see. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more videos from me, just click right here.